Yeah, yo, I'm gonna show y'all how to this uh this MPK forty two forty nine keyboard function with Bitwig. The Bitwig that I got right now is the uh, Bitwig two point three that just came out. I had, I had two point two, but I'm gonna show you how it function with it. All right, the first thing when you first buy this keyboard, the first thing you buy this keyboard. What's dope about it is that they already have a preset for Bitwig in here. So you don't have to install no software. So it's called Sits Bitwig. So I tweak it to that that that, that uh, preset. Then once I tweak it to that preset, uh, mainly most of the, the keys and the drum pads, everything function with it. But what I had to do, the first thing you should do is go to settings. You go to um, you go to MIDI controllers. And what you do, you go to add controller manual, you go to Akai, and it's right here, MPK, MP, um, MPK 249. You know what I'm saying? Once you put it, once you, once you connect it, once you connect it, then you set the options right here. <coughs> you set the options and everything. I don't, I don't know why, you know, you know, uh, it got MPK MPK 49 down here. Then it got 249. But my keyboard say 249, but it's only it, but it's actually 49 keys. So I gotta figure why they why they did it that way. But I don't know, man. But anyway, once you connect all this right here with your keyboard, you know what I'm saying? Put that in there, select the two, select your keyboard, and then all that. Everything set. So what I did. I did a 24 track setup. I did a 24 track setup on my mixer. So how I got this popping is that for starting from A, B, and C, right? A, B, and C, these mixer levels right here connect with the mixer levels on here. Now, before I set I made this preset like this, uh how, how it was set up first. How it's set up anyway is that when you download, okay, when you open up Bitwig and you got eight tracks, the first eight tracks are automatically automatically connect with these eight mixer levels. Automatic, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just from the this is because of the preset. But what I wanted to do, I wanted to, you know, for each for for A, B, and C, I wanted my mixer levels to connect. So actually, that's 24 tracks. So if you notice, if you look right, you pay attention to the first one. When I move this one up and down, it moves. It moves up and down. It moves up and down. So what I did, the first eight was already connected. But what I did, I took my time and I went to East Track. And I, you know, I, I, I connect map controller key and then I moved the knob. And it, con it connects to it automatically. You know what I'm saying? And then when I went to B, if when I go to B, I move the knob. Now, the next eight knobs will move up and down. Levels will move up and down. Now, remember this one right here. I'm, I'm going to slide. I'm going to bring the track down. And this is the next one. This is the next one. Now, I'm going to go to C. This one moves up and down. So I'm gonna go back to A. So not only that, I'm gonna go back to A. What I did with these knobs up here, the, the turn knobs, I use that for the pan. I use those knobs for the pan. Turn left and right pan. But this is the and, the and but the funny thing about it, a person would say like, okay, if I got a certain track selected, if I got a certain track selected, right? You know, say you got track fourteen, how would you know easily where's track fourteen on your mixer level, right? Because sometimes it it knock you off guard. But what I noticed, what what's dope about it, is that see all these tracks. When I click this track and say I change this color to green, and this track is green, you notice that these drum pads light up to that color. If I go to track 13, 
change to blue. Those drum pads change to the color blue. That's what make it dope. You know what I'm saying? And um, everybody know the levels, full levels, all these buttons, buttons function with it. Um, now, these buttons down here at the bottom, this time division. All this do is just make your drums and, you know what I'm saying, and your, your instruments or whatever you use, make them triple and double and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But when I was using PreSonal Studio One, these buttons right here was actually for to mute each track, but I ain't like it like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like it like that when I was using Studio One. But uh, what else can I tell you about it? Yeah, the, the play, the, the play work, the play work, the record button work, as you see up here, the record button work. The main thing, normally, normally the record button always work when you first download. It was all about just getting the levels organized the way you like it. And the drum pad, let me go right here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add a, uh, I'm going to add an instrument track. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my, my container and go to my drum machine. And I'm going to pick a preset. I don't know. These are all my drum kits. It's ridiculous how many drum kits Big Wig Studio come with. I can't all, I can always, can't never get over it. And they all sound good. So I, I connect this drum, you know, I select this drum kit, right? As you can see, as you can see, uh, the way the new MPK4249 work now, it got enough drum pads to fit. All these drum pads got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eleven, forty. So it's sixteen drum pads. My last tutorial with my old keyboard, it wasn't enough drum pads. You know, they I still had them connected a certain way. But if you notice, like Another thing, which you just know that I had this on B, right? And when I hit my drum pad, it, it taps right here, highlights right here. So for C, it goes to another level. For D, it goes higher. Now this has to be on A for the main drum kick area. You know what I'm saying? They connect pretty good, man. And also, um, when let me see, let me make double check. Like the note repeater, what that happens? If you notice that when I press note repeater and I hold this drum pad down, it go like that. Now if I press the next one, press three, four. You get me? That's how you can do your drum rolls. That's the fast way you can do your drum rolls when you're making your beat. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, man, this 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 you know it's a simple keyboard, but it it, it works real. It works pretty good with Bitwig, man.